いやふいやふいや It's just no use. I'll never be able to get my water bottle. Da 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 da! Extendo arm! With my trusty extendo arm, I'll be able to get it for sure. Perfect! Da da! Extendo arm! for all your extended arm needs. Hello there, boys and girls, moms, dads, grandmas, grandpas, cats and dogs, and all you peanut butter sandwiches out there. As you saw, having an extendo arm is incredibly useful. You can use it to grab anything you like from high or far away places. It really is like an extended arm. The extendo arm is super easy to make. It doesn't take many pieces at all. We just have four beams with two pivot points. The beams turn around the pivot points and that allows the arm to get bigger. So you can see here, we use short blue axles for our pivot points. And we connect the beams using these gray axles here. At the bottom, we have some red bricks that we can use as handles, so it's easy to use. And at the top, we have some yellow handle pieces that we're going to use to pick up the things we want to grab. I guess it's time we saw how can we make our very own extendo arm. Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two yellow beams. I'm going to put the centers over each other and stick a short blue axle through the middle like that, making sure that they are really in the middle. I don't want it like this or I don't want it like that. That's not gonna work. We need it right in the center, just like that. Then take a yellow wheel and put it on like that. Now we have a little bit like a pair of scissors, right? Cool. So that's going to be the first part. On the back of this, I'm going to put one red brick on top of this one and one red brick underneath this one because it's going to be very important that we keep a track of which one is up and which one is down. Right now, you can see that this one is up. So the next beam for this one is going to go under. So I take a gray axle. I'm going to put a yellow wheel on that. And then I connect it to the first hole on the next yellow beam and hold it in place with another yellow wheel. It's very important that it goes under the beam that is up. This beam though is down. It is underneath the first beam. So the next one is going to go on top of that, just like this. Again, we use a gray axle, hold it in place with some yellow wheels. Hui! A little bit tricky sometimes. Hui! There we go. And now we're able to fold these two across and find the center point again. The center point is going to be hole number six because this beam has 11 holes. So we're looking for hole number six. When you've found it, take your blue axle, stick it through the middle like that and then take a yellow wheel on the other side. Wow, we're almost finished. Now we just need to make the claws that go on the end. To do that is very, very simple. On the up beam, we're going to take our yellow handle and put it like this. Then underneath, we will put the handle like this and connect them together using a blue axle. Oh, it's a tough push, but you'll get it there. Then flip it over like so, 
and again a yellow handle goes like that on the beam and then we put one into place here like this at 90 degrees from the first one and connect our blue axle through and there you have it your very own extendo arm so there you go guys that's how you can make your very own extendo arm i think it's fun and easy and you can try it with not just this lego but any lego you have at home as well till next time i've been paul you've been fantastic have a great week